So what I usually do with these little small ones is I'll just drop like a little bit, like I'll heat up the pad here. Just drop a little bit of solder on the pad like that. And then I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to grab this as carefully as I can. And then I'm going to heat it up again and just push it into it like that. And then you lift it up and but um it's perfectly it's like it's in the perfect spot and then the other side you just heat up drop a little solder just like that that's how i do it and it works really simple for me okay so this is the idea i had i don't know if you guys like the idea so this is i like the washing machine rotom so i figured to make him like dizzy as if he just got knocked out and then these holes on the side, I figured that the mist can spew out of there. So it's like a broken washing machine almost. So he's like knocked out and confused. And then the smoke will kind of like spew out of here. This is just the one I sketched up so far. So this is the front, the back. There will be hinges so that I can lift it and then put the water inside and stuff. And then, oh, that looks weird when I have them all. And then the side view. The side view is not very good, but... This is the front view. You love it? And I figured once I finish it, I can put it like behind me. When I say behind me, I have a table behind me. Uh, this table right here. I could probably set him up there right there and then have like a humidifier for my room. But yeah, that's kind of the idea I had. So this is the concept. And then tomorrow I will 3D model it. And then the day after we'll 3D print it. And then we'll paint it. Actually, it's supposed to be orange. So hopefully I have orange filament. I think I have orange filament. I really hope I do. I only remembered Rotom from the weird abilities in the card game. Yeah, he like can... So Rotom basically can like put himself into any electronics. So he can like go into computers, cell phones, PCs. Oh, I already said computer. But like, um... I was also thinking of like, um, designing like a Rotom like humidifier for this project i wasn't sure though so i figured this one this is kind of what i came up with for now because i i don't know why but i really like the washing machine one but he has other forms like he's got um what is it a vacuum an oven yeah stuff like that the steam from the hinges yeah so um it'll basically be like maybe this crack the steam will come out of and then the hinges and then it'll just kind of look like it's broken because I was looking up um, broken, broken washing machines on Google, and I'll show you. I don't know if you can really see it because I'm pretty far away. Let's see. It's like spewing out of the... <laughs> it's like spewing out of the door area. And it's like... I can't really tell if it's soap or smoke. It kind of looks like a mix of both. Like it's smoking and this one has smoke. This one is like smoking from the sides. <laughs> and from the door so that's kind of the like rough uh sketch that i made and then tomorrow we'll 3d model the case after we get the dimensions for this this is the cleanest setup i've ever seen for soldering so many electronic engineering friends have a filthy table oh man i i clean my table after every time i solder and because it it i used to not do that so i actually so hold on let me show you the table behind me, this table right here, I used to solder on this table. It used to be filthy. Uh, but now I'm soldering on kind of like this little pop-up table that like I can move. Um, that's just in front of my computer. So every time I solder, I have to like clean it. I have to clean it to move it so that I can actually use my computer. This one goes right here. I don't even know how we got on that subject of history to be honest. You're back! It's going pretty good, look! Look at it! Now I just gotta measure the dimensions of this, and then tomorrow we're gonna 3D print a case for it. A proper case. I am kind of struggling a little with this, but we'll get it. There we go. So today is part one. So we finished our soldering of the project. Tomorrow, we're gonna 3D model the case for this. So I want the case to look like this. This is like a sketch I did for like basic 
basic kind of thing, but essentially this will kind of go inside of this right here like that and then the fumes will kind of spew out of it like he's a broken pokemon or something that's the idea so tomorrow we're gonna 3d model this i don't really know how we're gonna do that like i'm not sure about like because these parts right here they glow and they're clear so i'm not sure if i'm gonna 3d model these separately and like put it on or if i should just have it as a part of his encasing we'll find out though we'll figure it out goodbye